I did a, a few cuts off of uh, the 11 hour with Brian Williams because, I mean, this little clip here is just astounding. Uh, and then we'll take it on the other side. White House officials conceded on Tuesday that there had been an impression created that Mr. Trump was getting tested every day and a reliance on testing as if it were a curative measure as opposed to a diagnostic. Yet the president himself was not tested every day. Senior administration official would only say on Tuesday that Mr. Trump was tested regularly. The reality of this virus and its persistence, despite Donald Trump's efforts to wish it away, deny it, continue to become more evident. Stephen Miller, one of Trump's longest serving and closest aides, he of the Muslim ban and kids in cages fame, just tonight reported he has tested positive. At least 18 people connected to this White House or the Trump campaign have now tested positive. We've also learned the vice commandant of the Coast Guard, Admiral Charles Ray, he's positive. Nearly all of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, including the chair of the Joint Chiefs, Mark Milley, now in isolation. Put another way, just about our entire military leadership is working and living remotely. Tonight, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany, who's also positive, who now has four deputies on her staff testing positive, defended the administration, said it's working to ensure safety. We're taking all necessary precautions. Um, obviously, there was an outbreak here in the White House, um, but we've been checking on staff, following necessary contact tracing procedures. While we've had a lot of asymptomatic cases in the West Wing, and most of us have been doing just fine. If Trump cannot ensure the safety of the White House. The worsening pandemic proves he can't ensure the safety of the nation. It's that simple, right? Uh, that one event has put the entire military leadership in danger. He's endangered the lives of many of the people who work at the White House, good people who work at the White House, and some of them will do fine but some will have permanent damage, organ damage. Some will have permanent memory issues. Some will have strokes that they don't know they have yet. All these things are going to happen because there are enough of them that got infected in Trump's super infection event, super spreader event, that a lot of these people are going to be hurting. So my question to you is this. How dare us even consider given somebody who is yet to accept the reality that what he's doing is causing people harm, that's what, that what he's doing is causing the economy harm, and that what he's doing is permanently maiming many Americans. He doesn't care. How dare anybody think that this guy could possibly have another term. I am positive Americans are much smarter than that and that this guy will be kicked out in a landslide. Americans will have it no other way, lest America is America no more. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.